Hello, it's Uncle Mark here. I'm holding in my hand the camera today because we're going to bounce around the room. And I do mean bounce, so I hope you took your Dramamine. Welcome to the Dust Factory. This over here is the Little Labs in-between phase analog uh, phase alignment tool. We're not going to use it for anything as fancy as that. It's an uh, excellent reamper, and we're going to use it for that today. We're going to swing over here as smoothly as possible to... The Boss DR880. This is going to supply a nice uh, factory preset number 148, I believe. Heavy pop. That's a uh, basic drum track with some bass in it. I'm going to record that into the Korg D3200 standalone hard disk recorder. We've got this guitar over here, this nice carbon. It's a Holdsworth model. Very useful. Lots of range of tone. And we're going to record a rhythm track into the recorder. And then the same guitar is going to be used to record an initial uh, lead track. At the same time that that lead track is being recorded, we'll record a very dry, bone dry uh, guitar signal using the, uh, the direct box. Not yet in reamp mode, but using that same direct box. And we'll have a dry signal recorded along with the affected for the guitar. Then we'll go back and we'll knock out the affected guitar and play back uh, as a reamped signal, brought down to instrument level and same impedance and whatnot as what's similar to the guitar output. We'll run that through everything and get a new track out of it in real time without playing the guitar again. We'll get the same performance because it's already recorded. But we'll get to redo how we want the distortions and uh, other effects. So here it goes. We've got the drum part coming up here. This, if I did it right, should provide us with drum sounds. And we've got the KRK monitor system over here. In the shadows here, you'll see the KRK V8 sub down under here. And another V8 up here back around the, the dust factory here and we'll see what the sounds are like from the rhythm track okay you can hear some of that and the originally recorded guitar part with the effects for the lead is this but to listen to a few seconds of that before we continue And to keep this short, this is just a quickie demo. Okay, now next step I wanted to do for you is to knock out the original guitar sound for the lead, the original affected lead, and I want to play back for you uh, the same next a few seconds of it anyway, so you can hear what the uh, dry signal sounds like in the mix. Very, very dry. That's a, a, not the approximated reamped version. That's the recorded version comes straight from the recorder. Now we'll take and Activate a monitor, a couple of channels, and we'll take and adjust the send so that the dry signal can now be taken from my auxiliary out on the recorder, run through the reamper, and the reamper will spit out a signal that resembles what came originally from the guitar in the first place for that lead part. Now let's see what that sounds like. If I did it right, no, I got one more thing to do. Now we can monitor it. Okay. Here, let's go back to the beginning. And we'll add effects as we go. Now, let's 
compress that sucker. Uh, let's make them a little bit more aggressive sound. So much fun for me, anyway. Probably a little painful for you. I want to do it again. Change a few more of these settings. We're going to knock out the uh, whammy. Let's beef up the sound with the tube zone. Let's reverse. Try a little loop. Take out the loop. Take out the Shabby, a little noisy. We can fix that. This whole experiment may be a disaster. Let's see how this turned out. There's the recorder. <laughs> 